Uh, so here we have a patient who's about four and a half weeks um, from the time that they injured their finger. And what I'm going to demonstrate here is <coughs> how we determine the angle that we need to put the splint on. Uh, so if we take the normal hand, it's the ring finger that they've injured on the other hand. And so what we're going to do is temporarily put a, a relative motion splint uh, in there. So if I now ask you to make a fist for me, okay, I can see that that the, um, the FDP is able to pull through into this finger in, uh, across the DIP joint, but it's not nothing like the normal amount of power that it would be able to if we compare it to the, one of the other fingers that isn't uh, in the relative position. So we can see from that the angle of difference that we need between this digit, the un, an uninjured, uninjured digit and the injured digit, uh, in order to determine that we can put a splint on that will safely prevent him from a lot of movement on the injured finger. So if we move now to the injured hand, you can see that this is the splint that's been applied and it, it does indeed put the injured finger at that amount of uh, relative flexion compared to the uninjured adjacent digit. And if I can just ask you to go through the exercises that you've been uh, given to do. Let's take this off. Repeat it five times. Okay, so that's your complete exercise that you do yeah. now. Um, so you're four and a half weeks now. Yeah. What were <coughs> you allowed to do? What Did you have different exercises at an earlier stage? Yes, I have had earlier ones. Um, so previously, uh, I have had to, with my other hand, just bring them into a like a claw at the end there, yeah. just to get them moving with my other hand. And once I've loosened them up almost, I've then been making a call all like that with, the, yeah. with, with that hand five times and then the other one was like that. Yeah. But that was all up here, like so. Right, yeah. And then in between your exercises, yeah. what do you do? Um, do you, how, yeah, how much of the time do you wear that? You, al always been wearing wear this, yeah. All the time. Always been wearing that. And what can you do with your hand with the splint on? In between the exercises, and provided that I'm not before, provided that I wasn't using anything to restrict that at all, I was able to use these three fingers. But I tended to just try and use these two and keep well away from that. Right. And did you find that you caught this finger on things? Uh, no, not at all. It was all right. Was yeah, it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay.